Not all rich people come to Aspen to hit the slopes. A select few come here to hit the track. I turn him down. Oh, yeah. Gas, gas. High five, man. And their snowmobiles of choice, $4 million worth of supercars. But don't call it the Lamborghini Ice Capades. This is Aspen. So what you're watching is the Winter Academia. The Italian car maker invited 18 of its best customers for three days of luxury whining, dining, and high speed thrills. The kind that only money can buy. The Academias are usually held in Europe. This is the very first time they let the Lambos kick up the ice in the U.S. And we're the only TV cameras allowed on the track. What could be better than racing a 600 horsepower supercar around the ice? Doing it with a loner. Well, I wouldn't do that in my own car. <laughs> One of the lucky people getting behind the wheel is longtime Lambo lover Myron Stein. I'm your classical 10-year-old boy that that watched Cannonball Run, which had a black Countach right. with two beautiful women in it. You'd sit there and dream about, what's that car like to drive? Myron found out thanks to his success helping to run the family's farm supply company. He's had 12 Lamborghinis in his life, currently owns three, and drives them year round in his hometown in Iowa, a state that doesn't have a Lambo dealership, but does have some treacherous driving conditions. You'd have to be a little bit crazy to take, what, it's at least a $200,000 car out in the snow and ice. The car's there to drive, um, and, it, and it does very well in those conditions, and so I just do it. Two things most people don't realize about Lamborghinis. First, you can put snow tires on them. These are fitted with studs for extra traction. And second, Lambos are all-wheel drive supercars. Newer Lamborghinis are easy to drive in the snow as a four-wheel drive pickup truck. Really? Time to put that theory to the test. Three, two, one, go. Turn right sharp, sharp. Ice racing isn't exactly safe, so every driver gets an instructor riding shotgun. You're freaking awesome driver, my friend. Myron's ride, a brand new orange Uricon. Sharp right. I don't think I'd recommend somebody to take their own car out and do what we did today. Um, yeah, I'd, I would not do that. Bellissimo. Wow, Myron. So why would Lamborghini allow amateur drivers to beat up their cars like this? Well, first off, the icy experience comes with a price. Six grand per driver. Luckily, that includes insurance. <laughs> that was awesome. Woo! But Lamborghini isn't here for the chump change. They're here to keep wealthy Lamborghini owners loving Lambos. And the exclusive test drive in the ultimate playground is a very super rich way to do it. I love this car. Forget real estate fortunes and Wall Street money, this guy got super rich on something far more unusual, Beanie Babies. And you're about to see how he rode his plush toy craze to one very plush penthouse. At the top of the Four Seasons Hotel, this private elevator takes super rich guests high above New York City to a place where money is no object. The Ty Warner Penthouse Suite is one of the tallest suites in the world and the most expensive suite in North America. A whopping $50,000 a night, which is non-negotiable. The penthouse is named after Ty Warner, the Beanie Baby Baron. Back in 1999, he reportedly bought the hotel for $275 million. If you do the math, at $5 a pop, that's about 55 million Beanie Babies. And then he blew even more cash on an insane penthouse renovation. This castle in the sky took seven years to build at the cost of $50 million. So, how do you spend $50 million on a 4,300 square foot hotel room? Lots of glitz and glamour. 
Thai bought out an entire quarry to build a master bath in Chinese onyx. Handmade straw door and walls cost one million bucks. A $65,000 mattress covered in a bedspread made with 22 karat gold thread. Walls in the private Zen room are dripping in South African gemstones. And the four glass balconies were $8 million. Who stays here? The hotel won't say, except for one VIP guest. Obviously, Mr. Warner himself. And one of Mr. Warner's pet peeves? Shoes. Unless you're a paying guest, your feet will never touch these floors. Our crew and even hotel staff have to wear surgical booties. You get pretty much anything you want. He's not kidding. Unlimited champagne, unlimited caviar, and unlimited massages. Even a butler at your disposal 24-7. One thing the suite does not include, the luxury to oversleep. Checkout time is noon sharp.